Hello there, welcome to the AS Math Supply June 2023 paper. Here we're looking at question three. In an after school club, students can choose uh, to take part in art, music, both or neither. There are 45 students that attend the after school club. Of these, 25 students take part in art and 12 students take part in both art and music. The number of students who take part in music is X. Find the range of possible values of X. Okay, I'm, uh, Venn diagram is uh, screaming out at me at the moment. So let's draw some circles. We're going to have A and M. Um, we want 12 students who take part in both. We want 25 students to take part in art. So that means that 13 students will fit in here. Because remember, it's the full circle that should add up to 25. The number of students taking part in music is X. So therefore, it must be x minus 12 in this place here because we've got to take away the 12 that we're already doing both. Um, and uh, there's 45 students in total. And we don't know how many students don't do any activity. So I think that's going to be our upper bound and our lower bound. I would imagine the lower bound is going to be 12 because we don't want a minus number appearing in this box here. So my, uh, I'm going to go for the lower bound being x equals 12. And for the upper bound, let's assume that no one takes uh, neither of the two clubs. So we need our data in this section here to add up to 45. We've already got 25 from this section. So the upper bound or the higher bound, uh, let's work out 45 take away 25, which is 20. So I would want 20 to be in this circle here. How do I get 20? Uh, how do I get x? I want the circle to equal 20. Well, I'll set up a little equation that says x minus 12 is 20. So therefore, x is 32. So the range of possible values will go from 12 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 32. So there we are. One of the 45 students is selected at random. Event A is the event that the students take part in art. Event M is the event that the student takes part in music. Determine whether or not it is possible for the events A and M to be independent. So if we have two events that are independent, then the multiplication of those two events must equal the intersection of those two events. So let's do that. So the probability of A is 25 over 45. The probability of M is uh, X over 45. And the probability of A and M is 12 out of 45. OK, so let's multiply our fractions on the left hand side together. So it's 25 X equals uh, 45 times 45, just doing it on the calculator now, 2025 equals 12 over 45. Uh, multiply the 45, multiply the 2025 onto the other side, so multiply 12 over 45. So that's 25x equals 540. Divide by 25. Oh, we get a decimal number. Uh, right, okay, so if we've got a decimal number here, uh, that would indicate to me that it is not possible for A and M to be independent. Uh, the only way it could have been independent was if X was equal to 21.6, which can't happen. You can't have decimal number of students. So there we are, that's the answer for question three with a total of six marks. Let's now move on to question four.